Good afternoon. My name is Les Luxemburger, and uh, I'm running this series of learning tutorials, art tutorials, for people who are signed up for my creative newsletter. So this is week four now of my art business, which is Lux Art Studio. And as part of Lux Art Studio, um, we have to promote and educate people about the environment, and we work on environmental sustainability, incorporating environmental sustainability into our artwork. And whether that's using uh, sustainable products, um, purchasing sustainable materials uh, to use around the art studio, or just getting the message out about environmental sustainability um, through using uh, environmental themes in our artwork. That's what we do. So today's lesson is going to focus on uh, splatter painting and, uh, and drip painting. So this painting here um, was done very um, spontaneously. And it was, in fact, uh, an experiment. And many art uh, forms, artworks start off that way as an experiment. This piece here is, um, you see, uh, a lot of the paint is dripping down sideways. It's actually, let me face it this way, because that's how I created it. And you can see the paint running down the page. And as it runs down, it creates the effect what's called a wash, where uh, two or more colors actually interact with each other in complex ways and form uh, really cool layers and uh, really cool effects. So that's commonly, this technique is commonly employed in watercolor painting. And today's lesson um, will be um, how to help you to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first start off with a large brush. Um, and uh, this is a large uh, Escoda um, 20 brush made in Spain. You don't have to use this one. You can use any one you want. Um, so what I'm going to do is dip this in water. And for today's um, paint, I've decided to use, as you can see, I've got the basic uh, primary colors here. And the primary colors are red, blue, and yellow. And I've got uh, also some uh, brown in there, uh, raw sienna, and, uh, and some uh, dark green. So what I'm going to do is start off with this large brush, and I'm going to, uh, if you can see here, I'm going to dip it in, uh, let's use red as a background. Now the colors I'm using are uh, water soluble, I'm using water soluble oil paint. You know, you can use uh, watercolors if you like, and uh, if you, whichever you prefer. What I'm doing is I'm putting it on the canvas, and let me just show you here. It's kind of tough to demonstrate through a, uh, a webcam, but essentially um, what I'm doing is I'm letting the paint flow across the surface of the paper. And by doing that, I allow it to spontaneously unfold. I allow the paint to um, create its own effects as it runs down the surface of the paper. And what I'll do here is I'll add on maybe just some more red. And I'll let that kind of drip down spontaneously and create what are impressions or effects it wants to create naturally. And then I'll take maybe some blue, which is a good complementary color to that red. And then I'll dabble on um, some different colors here. And you'll be able to see how paint interacts each other. A lot of artists frown upon allowing the paint here, if you can see it, allowing the paint to just flow and ebb and create these effects. Um, but as you can see as it's emerging, allowing it to flow down um, creates a dynamic and some very interesting patterns uh, emerge and they're abstract patterns. You can do this uh, simply at home. Uh, you could do it with watercolor paint, you could do it with acrylic paint, uh, you can do it with this water soluble oil. The main thing is allowing it to unfold dynamically, allowing this um, layering to occur. So now we're just going to talk very briefly about layering. What I'm going to do is come in here with another brush that is not so thick or large as the other one. Dip that in water and maybe come in here with the yellow water soluble oil. And I'll start allowing that yellow to 
drip on naturally. Okay. So I'm going to try and hold this up as best I can so that way you guys can actually see what I'm doing, which always helps. Um, so, let's see here, I'm going to dab on some yellows here. Okay, just like that. And they ask, what is he really doing? Well, art doesn't have any limitations, as you know. The key is, is being fully present when you're doing art. That requires uh, minimal distractions. If you do have distractions in your mind, it's always a good way to get them out is, is through art. So now I'm allowing it to flow. Now if I want to do splatter, um, splatter effects, what I do is I come in here, get some paint, doesn't matter what color you want, and then what you can do is you can use the end like that, okay? So this is a more controlled way of dispersing the paint. It's by running your hand along the surface of the paintbrush here. And the more water you add to the paintbrush and the less paint, the more uncontrolled it is. And uh, vice versa, if you add more paint uh, and less water, then it becomes more controlled. The splatter effect becomes more controlled. So that's uh, one simple way of splattering. Another way of splattering, which is more uncontrolled and random, is to take lots of paint, lots of color, and just splatter it on like this. And that's a technique that Jackson Pollock readily employed. Now, I'm pretty limited here with um, my technique because I have to hold it up to the camera and I don't have an easel. Now, normally I'd do this on an easel. But I just wanted to quickly demonstrate a very simple technique on uh, how to employ splatter painting and how to incorporate into, um, into your art. And you know what's a really good technique for freeing yourself up? Uh, if you have any emotional blockages or, or kind of blocks you feel in your week, just splatter paint. It's a very therapeutic exercise. Uh, let the paint run. Let uh, you know. Let whatever image it is that um, comes naturally emerge, um, and it comes from within you. So anyway, um, that's my short tutorial for this week on splatter painting, and I wish you a wonderful week. And uh, if you have any questions, you can feel free to send me an email <clears throat> at luxartstudio at gmail.com, and that's spelled L-U-X-E. A R T studio at gmail.com and you can also reach me through telephone at 289-470-5464. This is Leslie Luxemburg of Lux Art Studio. I wish you all the best and a wonderful and creative week.